with today's uh, episode of roughage now what are the learning objectives of today's videos first we should know that what is roughage we should know that what are the important sources of roughage and we should know that what are the functions of roughage so let us discuss first about the sources now here in this slide we can see there are several uh, fresh fruits and vegetables which are regarded as the sources of roughage here in this we can see uh, several vegetables like lady's finger we can see several fruits like um, orange uh, now here we can see vegetables there is cabbage also there is uh, lady's finger there is uh, uh, fruits like papaya there are fruits that, um, other than papaya also we can see that oranges are there apple is there dates are there so these all are adding a bulk to our diet that is they'll uh, mainly we can get this from um, major fruits and vegetables now here we can see uh, uh, kabuli chana and all which are rich sources of protein they also add a part of roughage to our diet okay then oats is there so in this picture we get to know that these are the main dietary sources of roughage so if we take we are taking adequate amount of uh, fruits vegetables and other plant materials that is which are having large quantity of cellulose which go goes into the body they are actually the sources of roughage now what is roughage if we want to define in one word or one sentence what is roughage we should know that right so what is roughage roughage is the fibrous material which is present in some food items which is obtained from plants mainly like fruits and vegetables in the previous slide where i showed the image of dietary fibers i have already told you that it is mainly we get this fibrous material from the plant okay so it this is mainly the indigestible plant carbohydrates called cellulose so whatever we are consuming uh, that fibrous material that is indigestible part that part of the plant carbohydrate is not at all digestible in our digestive system why because there are no enzymes which can digest our cellulose in our body so what they'll do so if we are eating large quantity of vegetables fruits and other plant material they the large quantity of cellulose goes into our body now this fibers they cannot be digested as there are no enzymes and they are excreted as feces so this excretion of uh, feces by taking adequate amount of uh, roughage is very much essential to maintain a healthy diet healthy body why because if we are not excreting properly then it will get uh, deposited or it will get uh, accumulated we can say in our digestive system so digestive system will stop working properly we whatever food we are uh, eating it will not get excreted as there is not adequate amount of cellulose in our diet and we are unable to excrete the adequate amount of excretion which is required so it gets accumulated and uh, at times we will have digestive diseases digestive disorder gastric problem and all so this is an adequate amount of roughage is required in our body so what are its function let us see now the main functions of digestive system is now we know that our, our intestine or intestinal walls are made up of muscles okay which contract and relax so what is the important property of muscle muscle will contract muscle will relax so the intestinal muscle contraction is being stimulated by this roughage it helps in digestion it helps in proper bowel movements of our body what what is is doing again it is cleansing our digestive tract it is protecting us from several digestive ailments that is several digestive disorders if our system or digestive tract is clear if it is eliminated properly then our digestive tract is 
being protected from several digestive problems and it is adding bulk to food thereby it is preventing constipation right so adequate amount of cellulose if you all have understood it is required in our diet to maintain a proper and healthy digestive tract and to prevent the body from constipation and another thing what it is doing it is helping us to maintain the optimal blood sugar level what is optimal blood sugar level that is the required blood sugar level which is necessary for a normal functioning of human body it is also maintaining a healthy cholesterol level it is also helping uh, us to by slowing the digestion and by maximizing the cholesterol excretion okay so it is roughage at times we forget to eat these fruits and vegetables specially which acts as roughage so our excretion is not proper we keep on complaining that we are having problems of constipation why why should we complain if we are planning our diet in a proper way then we will not have this problem of constipation so this is actually because we are not having adequate amount of cellulose or roughage in our diet and it is also helping in retaining the water in our body so is it clear to everyone so this water the previous video which i have posted earlier and this roughage this too includes uh, two main parts of a balanced diet which should be there in our healthy diet without it our body will not work properly or not function properly is it clear so our digestive tract should be free from certain ailments to prevent disorders toxins should be flushed out that is why we should maintain adequate amount of uh, cellulose or roughage in our diet and it should always come from plant um uh, carbohydrates that is cellulose is plant carbohydrate actually okay is it clear to everyone go through it go through your textbook if it is anything you uh, get stuck in it if you are having any problem please come up write comments and please uh, interact with me so that i can get you with the answers okay so next uh, next episode we will be discussing about balanced diet and about the deficiency diseases so i'll combine two balanced diet and deficiency diseases in one uh, episode and i'll try to uh, clear it off so then we will be completing our nutrition lesson and we'll move on to the next lesson so go through the previous part and make it clear when you are studying nutrition okay so as of today it is we are ending our this episode of roughage thank you